What's cracking, guys? All right, we're going to start this day out here. Uh, we're going to give this car a little wash before we get done with everything else uh, that I had planned or that we do here today. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and give this car a first time wash in the past, like, 10 years, 16 years or something like that, as you guys can tell. Got the water. This paint is, is done. It's cracked. It's not there. I'm pretty sure when I actually wash the car, uh, I'm going to take it down to bare metal. It's You can just wipe your hand on it. It turns into chalk, so I'm not worried about that. But I figured might as well. Do what I can, get the car clean, and then, uh, well, go from there, you know? up nice but uh, I'm not gonna lie that's that's like top coat probably I gotta take care of that but definitely gonna pull the old uh, the old blowtorch trick on these guys as you guys can tell they look good when they're all wet but then they go to that oxidized black or gray but uh, yeah gonna hit the wheels the gas door and a couple of things and basically uh, we can get on with our day you know but uh, yeah, so easy. What do you guys think? We're about to we're about to find out though. This thing has been the table for like 15 years. <laughs> this fucking bush. How does it fit though? Dude, we can make this work. Oh my god. Yeah, it fits. <laughs> Kinda. No, it, I mean, we can move this around. Like, it, it, yeah. I mean, we can go straight from... We could just use this piece and not use this triangle and see what that does, but that's it's not going to be as good. I think this is the way you want to go. I think that, you could even carve it a little bit, possibly. I think once it's tight, I'm not really worried about leaks or anything. No. No. Right, Fuck it. Let me get something. Uh, get something, bro. The nice thing about just not having any electronics, all this is manual, so it was literally like, and done. And done. Yeah. But, all right, yeah, I saw these, and he's like, yo, let's try it, but freshly washed. That's what we did today, guys. That's what we did today, guys. Hello, NSX. But, uh, yeah, washed, and then uh, that's about it. We're going to try to throw these on. Just a light day, just a light day, hanging out, not having too much to do, so sorry if this is kind of kind of a boring one, guys, but uh, definitely, definitely having a fun time. <laughs> nope. Dude, I don't know, bro. I, I do. <laughs> I mean, that's OEM, that's just... <sighs> like, it used to be like this, you know? And now there's that there? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think so. I'm going with nothing. Alright, the fastest install, uninstall in history. We're going back. We're fucking going back, guys. You're going, to, you're going back to no mirror. I'm going back to no mirror. Like, no yeah. mirror at all. I'd rather guess. It looks better. Yeah, I'd rather guess. Well. Uh, we're back. Uh, put the, we're going to put the 
I'll put the if block you want off. These, we're gonna be giving these away to a free subscribers. Yeah. So if you're interested, you know, hit Christian up. And Let me know. Yourself a win, a free uh, carbon fiber one of Jesus, here, Jesus. I bet that was Isaac. They're interested in you. All right, we're gonna put this plate back in here, guys. I don't know if you guys remember what these look like when I brought them over here, but uh, they didn't look like this. Look at it. There's a reflection. It's smooth. This one's actually in the sun. Here, we can give this one a. Damn. Dude, you knocked this out, dude. Yeah, Holy thanks, man. hell. Gotta check out the. Yeah, uh... even the inside. Look at that. Oh, Lord. Yeah, these uh, they weren't, uh, weren't easy. Yeah. <laughs> and you can see all of this pitting in here. I mean, there was a lot of caked on stuff that had to be chipped off, even. Uh, yeah. Look at this crazy gouge, dude. That's a hand snagger. Oh, that, wow. That rock went in. Ouch, Jesus. <laughs> Yeah, but dude, they came out really good. I'm super happy dude, with them. Super, super, super grateful. Yeah, holy hell, one. dude. Yeah, yeah, dude. We need to get some tires soon. Holy hell. Oh. Damn. God, all right. All right, guys, so while we set off here to uh, pick some new wheels for uh, the EF, I figured I would go ahead and uh, just buy a bunch that, uh, you know, I really wanted to find out if I wanted to put on the car. And, um, you know, there wasn't really too many options out there for the caliber of build that, uh, you know, we're trying to make. So um, I just went ahead and purchased uh, everything here. We have another, uh, you know, four or five other sets on the way. This is the first thing. That, that actually arrived um, but I just wanted to say you know I'm not sponsored or anything I bought all this stuff with my own money you know we're gonna go ahead and try them all out uh, see work see what works best here as you guys see we've got the uh, the BBR competitions uh, classics classics these are real BBR competitions they're not Rota EG6s uh, these are the real deal here and uh, we have a couple different sets of TE37 SLs uh, 17s, a couple 18s. Uh, obviously, the 18s are going to be a bit massive, but I figured, you know what? I have the money, so I might as well just buy the real, buy the rims. Uh, we can throw it on there and uh, just see, just see what we can get. You know, we'll probably have to camera it out uh, quite a bit to actually fit the 18s. But uh, on this journey, we'll be able to at least see, you know, what fits and what doesn't. Obviously, the 15s will work. Uh, the 17s might be a better option. Don't really like the 16s. The concave doesn't really work out. But uh, yeah, I figured I would go ahead and give you a good tour of uh, the wheels that we have here, the different offerings that Volk has, um, and kind of go from there. But all right, guys, as we uh, go ahead and looked over a lot of the wheels here, I was going to go ahead and tell you that uh, I obviously don't need this many wheels uh, for the car. I'll probably only be keeping about one or two sets of the 15 that I purchased. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and be uh, giving these away, uh, the ones that I don't actually like aesthetically on the car and um, just probably give them away to, to some of you guys that are watching the video right now. Um, just really appreciate the viewership. And, and like I said, you know, I didn't wanna, I didn't wanna be flashy and just throw these around for nothing. So I figured I would give back, um, you know, as long as I don't like what they look like on the car. Hey, but honestly, can we take a look at these right here and just, uh, just mesmerize in uh, how nice these wheels are? I mean, the little concave we got over here. And then you got this guy, look at that. Dang, but then when there's that. Damn. But I am really excited about the BBRs, guys. These are gonna get cleaned up and they are gonna make it on the hatch. But uh, yeah, I was just joking around. I was just joking around, but um, good times. Had this brand and I have this actually on my B20 in the sole right now. So I trust it. Uh, tie rods, outer tie rods, and then I've got front and rear main seals, a new water pump, or a new thermostat rather, and then I got a new just continental um, uh, timing belt and tensioner in there. So this motor actually has, let's see if I can find it, it's uh, around here. Uh, this is actually a Gretti, which I don't know. I guess I could reuse it. It actually looks really, really, really good and can like, it doesn't look cracked. It actually looks really good. So it's possibility that I just rock this again uh, instead of the Continental, which sucks because I already bought it. But at that point, it's whatever. But guys, this is the B17, as you guys can see right here. And I can zoom in. 